you can stumble upon a lot of weird things in Ghostwire Tokyo. And while many of them are tied to a location, others occur in the vicinity of certain enemies. Hi again guys, it's Thomas. And in this video, I'm going to point out a few environmental effects that I've noticed while playing Ghostwire Tokyo. The first effect involves the Kuchisake arm, the rude woman that got all up in our face while we were purifying the underground shrine. This effect is probably the most obvious, as it changes the texture on the ground and walls to a sort of rippling rust texture and it seems to be emitted from the Kuchisake Ana herself. Although it can be useful as a warning of this dangerous woman's presence, it can also disorient you if it appears while you are in an unlit alleyway or similar, simply because of how dark it becomes. Luckily the effect will fade after a short amount of time, and doesn't seem to reappear until you've left the area the Kuchisake Ana is patrolling. Imagine walking down a city street and encountering street writing that appears to have peeled off the asphalt surface and begun floating above it. This is a good indication that a lamentation is nearby. The lamentation herself emits a strange metal screeching noise as well, though unfortunately you have to get quite close to her in order to hear it. Thus, the street lines remain a better warning system. Once you notice the floating street writing, cast your eyes slightly upward, as she is usually found hanging from something such as a street light or corruption tree, and, upon noticing you, will usually begin to light you up with projectile attacks. You can bring her to the ground by shooting her down or dissolving the corruption tree she is hanging from if you fancy a close quarters fight. The next entry in our list is not so useful for an early warning system, since it only seems to manifest itself during combat. If you engage a shine dancer in the rain, you may see the rain literally reverse direction and rise into the air. Occasionally, umbrellas, trash bags, and other debris will accompany the rain upward into the sky. Some of you, who may have seen an anime or two, may notice that the shine dancer looks quite similar to a Teru Teru Bozo. These are little ghost-like dolls that are hung up by children to ward off the rain for special occasions. And though you could say it does ward off the rain in a literal sense, this version of it is decidedly more disturbing. Occasionally, while roaming the city, you may hear crying and sniffing and, like me, may have thought it was just an occasional ambient soundtrack that played at certain points around the map. Turns out, though, it's those fragile floating ghosts, officially called wanderers, sobbing it up somewhere nearby. The source can be hard to pinpoint sometimes, as they are flying enemies that you usually have to climb to reach, and also because they can be heard from quite a distance away. While you can use the wailing as an early warning system, you won't normally encounter the wanderers except on rooftops, and even then they are quite weak, going down in only two shots of your wind finger attack. Okay guys, I've got a lot more tiny observations to cover, so I'll just mention a handful of interesting things I've noticed without the long explanation or title sequences. You may have noticed that the rain looks kind of funky, and you may have also figured out why, but for those who haven't, it's because the rain is actually the kanji for the word ame, which means rain. Similarly, if you encounter a Yuki Ana, you may notice that the snow is made of kanji as well, and, as expected, it's the kanji for yuki, or snow. There are rats running around in the streets. Just saying. You will occasionally run into headless students, acting in a way you'd expect teenagers to act. Think roaming in groups of friends and messing around with their smartphones. On various suspiciously well-lit walls, the shadows of schoolgirls running will appear. The proximity of any actual students doesn't seem to matter, as these shadows appear in the same places again once you've left the area. 
You will also see some seemingly random projections in various specific locations. No clue if these mean anything. References and easter eggs are many, some more obvious than others. And finally, we have the ghostly hand, which beckons you from around a corner or on a wall, presumably toward a nearby Jizo statue. I found two places so far on the map where they appear, but they are neither consistent nor common. Right, that's all I have for now. There are many details hidden amongst the streets in this game, and I'm sure to have missed some. By all means, let me know of any more in the comments. Also, if you'd click some of those special buttons down there, I'd be much obliged. Ta-ta.